What's up guys? I hope that you are doing well in this second part of the series of the series social media marketing. So I'm showing you all my sales process again from call calling from prospecting to closing uh, social media marketing clients. I'm showing you all my strategies and what I'm using for my agency. So this video is very valuable and uh, I hope that it's going to help a lot of people start their business and you know, scale their agency also. So what right now we are in the second part. So the first meeting, so you got the meeting through call calling or emails or LinkedIn. And now I'm going to show you how to prepare this meeting, what to say, what to do, and some tips, uh, again, advices and strategies on what I'm doing, like what I'm currently doing. So all that I'm teaching you and explaining you, I'm currently doing it, right? So uh, let's get right into it. Again, make sure that uh, you are putting a big thumbs up on those uh, videos and series if you like them. And if you have any questions, you can ask me on Instagram. I answer all DMs and comment if uh, there is any videos I could make for you guys that could help you. You know, it can be any topics about sales, about marketing, about, you know, just the SMMA in general. It can be about your processes, about your systems, about how how to take payment, how to make contracts, you know, it can be anything. So make sure that you are commenting uh, what do you need. So again, here is the sales process. If you didn't watch the first part, make sure that you are watching it. It's about cold calling and how to get to this first meeting. So right now we got, we call call clients, we got some meetings and you know, we are preparing for this meeting. So uh, before I want to tell you again why there is uh, a first meeting and a presentation because uh, before what I was doing is I was uh, doing the proposal. So, you know, putting the price, showing my price, showing uh, all my service. I was doing it in the first meeting directly and I'm going to show you what I was doing, the what kind of presentation I was using for my clients. What, right now, in my first meeting, I'm even not uh, taking any, any presentation with me. It's just, it's very human. I just communicate with the client. I understand his needs, his problem, the numbers. Um, I ask a lot of questions. I listen most of the time. And that's for the first meeting. That's the most important. You want to be listening twice as more as you're talking. You want the client to close themselves and you don't want to say a lot of things, you know? So yeah, there is a famous quote that you have two ears and you have just one mouth. So listen twice as twice much more uh, as you are uh, speaking, right? So uh, first of all, I want to show you guys how I was doing. So the presentation I was using for my business at uh, at the beginning. All right. So um, you know, I got the meeting and I was doing this presentation directly. Now you can do it uh, after I will recommend you what I'm doing right now and. Um, you know, just uh, my process, my current process. But basically I was in the meeting, I was understanding their needs, their problem, developing a relationship with them, that's very important. And also showing that I'm an expert in social media marketing, that I know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I was, when I meet my clients, I'm always, um, they always see me as an expert in social media marketing. So, so they ask me questions they are trying to, to know more about it. You know, they are, I'm trying to teach them the right way of doing it. So they, they are seeing me as an expert and that's very important. You want to be a professional, you want to be an expert in your field. Now, after understanding all the needs and all, you know, all problems, I told them, look, I think that I can help you to get more clients. Now, I think that you are a good fit for my business. Here is what I have um to offer you here is what i can show you so this is a small presentation uh sa media is the name of my agency and i'm helping e-commerce businesses for for the moment it's only french e-commerce businesses because i'm not spending anything on advertising but this will come uh very soon so it's in french uh, unfortunately but i'm going to translate you everything is just to show you 
so you have some guidelines and you know you can even make your own slides and your own presentation if you are doing a first meeting but i mean if you are closing and showing this on the first meeting but on the third part guys i'm going to show you a tool a software that i'm using and that you can use too to make your presentation and make your proposal looks professional and uh, that's uh, that's going to be very valuable for you so uh, you know i'm just selling facebook that this is very very precise that you can uh, target uh, the age, the interests that you can, um, you know, your budget that uh, you can know exactly how much to spend uh, on Facebook. That is a big opportunity right now because there is 35 million people in France and 2 billion people in the world. So it's a crazy opportunity right now. And there are, there are not yet so much advertisers on Facebook. Now I'm explaining after um, the kind of uh, campaigns that you can use on Facebook and that I'm for, for my part, I'm more focused on traffic and conversion, uh, which is bring traffic to the website and convert people in order to increase profits. After, you know, I'm always talking about the business. So this is the context. I'm just talking about them. I'm trying to understand, you know, more and more their situation. I present I present them what I understand about their situation. Like, okay, you, you are currently have a lot, you're, you're very known in France, but you want to be much more uh, present uh, international. So in Europe and the US, so I'm really understanding them, the situation, uh, understanding their situation and telling them what they are not doing. Like for example, to have a Facebook campaigns, Facebook ads when you're trying to expand is a must, uh, even for an e-commerce business, right? So yeah, just telling them the context, then showing them similar results that uh, I got for them. Uh, I hired the name of uh, clients that work for, uh, with me, uh, but it's just, you know, showing them similar results. What could we get in the first month? What they can expect uh, like per day? So I'm just showing them similar process then showing them my exact step-by-step -step strategies but i'm going to show you in the third part that i'm using something much much more better and it's a timeline that i'm using a six months six to twelve months timeline for um you know just to engage them even more just to tell them that there is a plan of actions a very detailed plan of action that they can implement right now by working with me and that we are doing everything for them. And finally, I'm also, so this is Facebook, the plan of action in Facebook, uh, the ROI, like ROIS, so written over ad spend, sorry for my accent, uh, that is between uh, three and five. And finally on Instagram, so what we are doing for them is we are boosting and uh, scheduling posts every day to drive more traffic to their website. So this is just, Honestly, it's a futile presentation, but uh, it's it's really good to have number. I mean, it's not so futile, sorry guys. It's just that it's very important to have this actually because look, you want numbers, you want them to see numbers and you can't tell them the price uh, by voice. You can't, tell, you can't tell them be like, yeah, it's uh, 1000 per month. You know, no, it, it needs to be written. It's uh, very important. Everything needs to be written because when it's written, it's much more, they can believe it more, right? When you are telling this, uh, when you are telling it directly to them without it being written, they, they just trust you more when it's written, right? So, and finally, I'm um, showing them the price, but what I should do in between before, like last year, what I should do is telling them how much they are losing currently by not uh, using social medias, how much money are they uh, losing right now by not um, working for me. And all of this presentation, guys, is very, very logical. It needs to be logical. They need, because look, first you want to be emotional, you know, to sell the future, to understand their needs. You know, you want to get them emotional, but then you want to be very logical because this is a closing, like this is where you are presenting your service and being logical is very important. So 
so again, uh, to uh, manage all the campaigns, all the ads, all you know, all the Facebook ads part, it's 997 uh, euro per month. Then we have the part of uh, the budget of uh, like the ad spend that is on their part. You know, I'm not, they are not paying me for the ad spend. And this is very important to tell them that, you know, I recommend you to uh, start from 300 to 500 euro per month, you know, because you need, <laughs> you need money to spend on advertising. And some clients I met uh, just uh, told me that uh, it's ridiculous that they are they are never very, never going to pay 300 to 500 for advertising when they have to pay me 1,000 per month. So you know you need to qualify your clients and you need you need them to understand this part that they are paying for the ad spend and this is not including your service, right? You you have your service in one part and the ad spend on the other part. So this is very important. And finally, there is also, uh, you know, just something, it's very bullshit. It's like, I am making a market research for them. And to find, I, actually, it's not bullshit. It's taking time. And uh, I recommend you to always price everything in, uh, when you are doing a proposal, to always price everything. Like, do not uh, make something free for them. But again, this is just to close them. It's, it's helping a little bit. It's... Uh, Look, we are going at the beginning to make a market research of your best audiences and, you know, the best products. And it's actually 197 euro. But if you are working with me right now, if you are starting today, it's actually free for you. Or it can be, you know, yeah, currently uh, you don't have any pixel in your website. And what I can do is usually it's 500 per month. It's 500 one time. But if you are starting with me today, I actually offer you this part. It's on me. So this is uh, about it. And after, you know, I had to close them directly. And most of the time when it's uh, prices like this, I had the answer. OK, we are going to think about it and we will come back to you. So uh, much more interesting part, I think, in my opinion, is to get the first meeting to not have a presentation and then if you are, if they are engaged, you ask them, okay, so is it interest? Does it sound interesting for you? Yes. It sounds very interesting. Okay. So here is what we can do. We can, sometimes they will ask you directly for, you know, a proposal and that's fine, but never send them a proposal via emails because it's just very hard to, it will be back and forth. You will call them, you will send an emails. It's very uncomfortable, right? So what you want to do is, okay, if it sounds interesting, let's schedule another meeting where I'm going to make a custom solution for you. It will, everything will be on paper. So I'm going to explain you everything that you need to know step by step. And after if you want to start, so uh, you make the final decision, right? And usually I'm, you know, we are getting our agenda and scheduling this presentation together. Um, but yeah, and after, you know, this is the closing part, but never ever, if they're telling you, yeah, just send me the proposal via emails. I don't want to meet you <laughs> again, right? You don't want to do that. So I actually tell all my clients that I'm not sending any proposal via emails because it's very technical and I need to be there to explain to them uh, the numbers, to explain to them everything, right? So, but during the first meeting, here is some uh, tips and advices on what you need to do. So again, I'm not currently, I'm not uh, doing a presentation, but this is what I'm doing. I'm finding the needs and the deep problems of my prospects, of my potential clients. And I'm doing this by asking why questions. So, and also understanding their current situations by asking why, like for example, yeah, we're not doing social media currently why you are not doing social media currently. You know, we, we don't have anybody that knows how to do it. Okay, why? I mean, okay, let's see. Uh, you can even ask why, guys. You can even be like, why? What have been stopping you for getting somebody? And always ask why to get to the real problem. Now, understand his current situation and where he wants to go. That's you selling the future. That's very important. Uh, salesmen, the best salespeople, sales future, and you want to always sell the future, understanding where they are right now, 
where they want to be and making them understand that you are the vehicle that will get them to their current situation, to their desired situation. Um, understand what's holding uh, them back from reaching his goal. Okay, why you, you, you didn't be able right now to, to get to that level, to get to where you want to be. And they will tell you, you know, we don't have time. We, we are very busy doing what we are doing right now. Finding their deep motivation. Tell them why you are not staying at this current situation. Why it's so important for you to get to where you want to go. Uh, establishing a relationship, as I've said, uh, you, your clients, clients need also to be not your friends, but you need to, you need to, you know, I'm, I'm speaking to all my clients in a friendly manner. Uh, it's not, it's just not conventional. We are, I'm st- sometimes I'm, I'm coming in t-shirt, right? I shouldn't have to, I have to be professional, but I'm so, you know, it's, it's such, I established a great relationship with my clients that I know them, I'm talking to them on the phone sometimes and you know it's just a great relationship and that's what you want guys you want to to work to work with clients that you're enjoying working uh, with them and yeah show that you are a professional i already talked about it show that you are an expert in your field and appearance especially in the first meeting is helping a lot so wear good wear a suit even if uh, if it's in the good context and finally, you always want to know the numbers. So you want to know how much they are making currently, how much they, they want to make, you know, just know the numbers. So you have even, you understand more than their context. And we want also to know their numbers because we want, uh, it will help us for the presentation when we will tell them how much it's costing, the, it's costing them to not working with us. So this is very important for the presentation part that we'll see together in the third part of this series. So that's about it for this video. If you want me to mentor you on all this aspect, on all this process, you can uh, check the link in, in bio. It's a free case studies on how you can get your first clients using call calling and using those strategies, guys. Again, if you have any questions, ask me on Instagram. Uh, I answer all DMs. Make sure that you are putting a big thumbs up and uh, activating the notification bell also. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I will see you guys on the third part.